All right, today's topic is the painful one. I'm talking about when you start to like a man, especially in the early stages where you start kind of forward tracking and you're like, is this my life partner? Did I finally find the one? Am I finally going to get off these dating apps or dating sites? Is this it? And now you're not so sure because he starts ignoring you and your life partner is probably not going to ignore you. And I made this video because you're wondering what the heck is he thinking? I'm Mike Goldstein of Easy Dating Coach, the most efficient dating coach in the world. 83% of clients into relationships and the folks that are already into relationships, we make them better. Okay, Manning ignores you. We got to put men into two buckets because um, that's going to tell us what to do here. One, he likes you. And the second bucket is he doesn't like you. The guy who doesn't like you, we got to get rid of him, right? The guy who likes you, we're much more interested in. What is he thinking? Most of the time, the male brain is focused on whatever he is doing. So if you're dating a busy guy, you decided I want Mr. Corporate, you know, works 60 hours a week. He is focused on that job. He is focused on whatever he's trying to accomplish. And after work, if you know he works out or he has his TV routine or whatever, he is focused on that thing. The male brain is straight line. Vroom. Think of a one-way street. That's all he's doing. And he's he does not multitask. The way your brain works is not the way his brain works. For all you ladies watching, I know when you're thinking about something, your brain can go 15 different directions and be thinking about that and then the 10 other things that are connected to that and then also thinking about how you need to make brownies and you need to vacuum and just a million things. His brain does not do that. So what he is thinking about is whatever he is focused on. If he's at soccer, he's thinking about soccer. Does that make sense? And go in the comments. Let me know if that makes sense. I would appreciate it. Now, what to do? Since your brain tends to wander and think about a lot of things, when a man ignores you, there is one great answer for you. What I want you to do is go have fun. Do not let what he's doing control how you feel inside. Go have a blast. If you haven't done an activity that you love doing, go do it. Or if your routine is to call your girlfriends or you know, go play soccer or go lift or go play chess or go read a book. Go do whatever that fun thing is and do your best to get your brain on that thing and not think about it. If you're having fun, you're not going to be thinking about the fact that he's ignoring you. Why do you do this? If you go approach him when he's ignoring you, when he's focused on something, it comes off as as, as needy. And it comes off as you're in a spot where maybe you're upset. I know when I get emotional and I'm upset, it's not a good time for me to, to reach out to someone because I'm upset. I'm emotional. I'm not going to be logical. I'm not going to be supportive. I'm probably going to be a pain in the ass. So I don't reach out to people when I'm emotional or not happy. I wait till I'm happy. Maybe I went and played soccer. I'm happy. And now maybe I may talk to them. Or I may wait for them to reach out when they're ready. And that's your approach. And if it's a long time, maybe that doesn't meet your standard and you're out of there. Maybe he's got a really good reason or maybe he was just busy. But either way, you can get curious about it. You'll get curious. You'll find out why. And then you're going to tell him how you want to be treated. And he's got to step up. Now, if this happens every once in a blue moon, 
where the first time it happens, it's a red flag. But if it becomes a pattern and he's not meeting your standard at a pattern, you got to get rid of him. We don't deal with patterns. We're okay with once in a blue moon. Does that all make sense? Let me know in the comments. Friends, family, smash the like button. Share this with your girlfriends so they can get this advice, please. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Oh, if you want to keep watching, I'll put uh, a playlist up here and a video up there. Or maybe it's vice versa. I don't know. Go watch some more.